Welcome back to the sales community executive event, The Cube After Dark. So one of the featured speakers and the sponsors of tonight's event is a company called Gong, which you may or may not be familiar with. They do some really interesting things in, um, in basically sales, sales enablement, and we're going to talk about that with Sally Baldoff, who Hello. runs solution engineering for the company. Sally, welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you, Thank you for having me. So Gong's really interesting, I have to say, I wasn't really familiar with Gong, but hearing the, some of the testimonials, ex explain what Gong is. So Gong is a platform that enables you to collect all your sales conversations, whether it's email, phone, web call, whatever. It ingests all those conversations as well as interactions from other software into its revenue intelligence platform, its reality platform. And from there, it runs AI models and surfaces that up. So it surfaces it up in many ways. It can give you some intelligence on the call, like a call brief, a summary of it, an outline. It could even have it ask me anything about that call and, it, and you can type, type in any question and it'll tell you was pricing on that call or not, right? So it gives you intelligence on that customer and that we're gonna to apply to a deal in a deal cycle. So we can give you the deal likelihood if a deal is gonna, based on all the conversations, if it's gonna close for you. We can use it for coaching. You know, maybe you're rolling out a strategic initi initiative and 70% of strategic initiatives fail and you don't know why and you wanna see, are they really pitching your product the way you want it? So you can check strategic initiatives, you can do deal, deal forecasting, you can do coaching. We got multiple ways. Uh, I see, are they, are they maybe selling something, a capability that might not be there, hence the high increased probability of failure. So before Gong, if I, make, I know, we can we record this call on Zoom? Yeah, okay, you record the call on Zoom and then you get this file, mm -hmm. it was an hour long call and you got to listen to it. You can maybe speed it up, but it's kind of tedious. You know, maybe transcribe it. Okay, right. that's cool. Then you can read the transcript, which is, it's kind of helpful if you're you know, a decent reader. And, and, but Gong, it sounds like, takes that to another level. It brings intelligence to the table. It extracts and curates. And how does it, how does it know where, where to go? Where to go? Well, um, it'll bubble up warnings, right? So let's say you, you're forecasting a deal to commit. And 55% of deals that you say you're going to commit actually don't commit within that quarter. And what it'll do is say, hey, your client's ghost you for two weeks. I don't see any conversations or any sales interactions with that client over the last two weeks. It's ghosted you. Or it'll surface up, hey, your client had a problem with pricing and gave you pricing. Or maybe it's a competitor that came up at the last minute in your call. So Gong will listen to those indicators, indicated deal warning, and will give you that rich intelligence so that you can forecast more accurately what deals will close. Does it, does it infer from tone or is it mo is it just primarily what words are said? Primarily words. So Gong has a very advanced platform, um, far different from the others. A lot of the other ones will use what we call keywords, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll look for certain t keywords. So you're in a conversation, you say, oh, that deal is good, you know, is going to be delayed or, or maybe they use the word delay, but delay can mean, oh, I'm sorry, I came to the meeting, I was delayed, you know, with another phone call. So that's a different delay. Yeah. So what we use a, is the concept of smart trackers or concepts. So we take that intelligence one step further and try to understand what is the context in which you were talking about it and better understand and, and bubble up those, those warnings. One of the concerns that came up in the Q&A uh, this evening was, well, do people let you record calls? Right. And of course, we, res we record Zoom calls all the time. How, how do you handle that? We handle that through what's called a consent, right? So we work with the client to set up a consent page. So as we go into, you can do multiple ways. You can, um, usually what you'll do is you enter a call and they'll say, this call is going to be recorded by Gong. Do you consent? And if the person says yes, then you've got their consent and, and therefore you can, you can use that call. A lot of it is enablement, just getting people comfortable with having calls con uh, recorded. And as they said earlier, explain the reason why you're doing it. Why am I recording this call? I want to I want to be engaged with you right now. I don't want to take notes. I want to have that call and that rich information for further use. Yeah, I thought that was powerful. And I want to make sure that I follow up appropriately and if I have that documented, so is that okay? And do, 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 do clients ever ask you, yeah, sure, you can record it. Can I get a transcript of it? Do they ever ask that? No, I haven't had a client ask me for that yet, but you could yeah. technically. And, and you would allow that? Or yeah. say, oh, would yeah. you say, hey, let's pitch so, them Gong. Sure, sure, <laughs> you, you could. Um, so Gong has over... 
40 different proprietary models. We have our own language translation models that actually perform better than Google and AWS. We've done tests to, to test it against it. And we're now getting into the generative AI space, as you saw before, and you heard before, we can call brief, do a call brief on a call. We can, with the Ask Me Anything, say, write me a follow-up email and we'll write you a follow-up email. Very similar to ChatGP, but it's proprietary models that are secure and safe. And, and, it's, and it's based on that real, really right. small corpus of data. Right. Uh, or do you bring in, actually, do you, do you, in the future, will you train it with other conversations that go on? Yeah, so Gong's been doing this for, for seven years, before right? Before ChatGPT was before around. Before ChatGP <laughs> was around. So we have the largest collection of 5X the data that anybody else has out there of conversations because we've been collecting for years. So our A models are written off of revenue-based conversations. They're not based like ChatGP off of Wikipedia or public domain stuff. They're based on revenue conversations. So when we develop those concepts that we're looking for, like a deal delay or warning signal from a competitor, we're, we're used to that language that you would use in a sales conversation. Will sales managers, so they'll review the, the conversations using Gong, they'll review the conversations, they use it for training, presumably, and they'll also use it to, to help with forecasting accuracy, is that yep, right? Yep, yep, so right now we have a forecasting tool that'll let you bubble up you know, your deals and, and the likelihood of those deals closing. So we'll give you a likelihood score, we'll bubble up conversations, any deal warnings that are in, in that call. Um, we also are doing predictive modeling as well, so we can look at past deals and how, accurate, how what is the accuracy of, of what will likely close in that corner based upon previous quarters. So we're doing the linear modeling as well to supplement the conversations. And your pricing, I went to the website to check it out because it was so interesting. You price for the platform and then per user, correct? Uh, no, we tr price per user. It's per, per user. user, okay, yeah. so there's not a platform charge up front? No, it's a platform per user and then it's a forecast per user. Oh, ah, okay. I, 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 I'm. I filled yeah, out the form. Right. You got a salesperson calling me, I think. Yeah, yeah so. that's our problem. Yeah. And what I want to, I failed to mention earlier, we have a brand new product we just released in September, late September, called Engage. So it's a it's an engagement tool that will help prospect, not only prospect, but do the full funnel. So we have SDRs, BDRs using it, as well as salespeople. And it lets you go either by contacts or by accounts, more importantly. So what's really great is you've got SDRs calling you know, into accounts, it'd be great to see what other conversations have happened in that account so that they don't overlap. You know, they don't want to be cold calling an executive that your salesperson just had a meeting with last week, right? And then you can connect it to lead to lead sources too, so it'll bubble up and say, used based upon our intelligence and all the sales data we have, this kind of um, a sales opportunity at this stage, the best person you should engage with is the VP of this company, and it'll use the contact base databases and serve up that, that contact for you. So this complements my CRM, correct? It doesn't, yeah. it's not a CRM, it doesn't no, replace no. Salesforce, correct? Oh no, it's just all, think of it as a revenue intelligence layer over your CRM. Your average CRM is, is pretty dumb, sorry. <laughs> but it's, it's think true. of I mean, uh, yeah. Lowry, it's, the old Lowry book, we used to keep our contacts yeah. in, the, in the paper books. Your yeah. CRM, is, is a, Pretty much, it's, is a, it's a, a, an electronic it's version static. of that. Yeah. It's an electronic version of that. So what we're doing is we're adding a revenue intelligence or an AI layer over that contact data. So um, most reps don't even put, put, put um, their notes in, you're forcing them, you're nagging them. An average call, like we're having a conversation, an average conversation over half an hour, um, they speak about 6,000 words and your rep puts in about 20 of those 6,000. Right. So you can you can grasp what's lost in that conversation, and most of them have happy ears. So you're not really getting the true intelligence and the rich intelligence and that voice of the customer. So it's not only good as an, as an AI layer over your sales to improve it, but it's a great way to capture the voice of your customer for your product teams too. Do, well. do you do integrations with CRMs or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We integrate fully two-way with Salesforce and HubSpot and with Microsoft Dynamics. Well, Sally, thanks so much for coming oh, on the queue. Sure. It was really thanks a pleasure having, having you. This has been fun. All right, you keep it right there for more action from the sales community event here in Massachusetts. The Cube After Dark. I'm Dave Vellante. See you in a moment.